Hello, everyone. I'm Bogat Sunabar from X platform at Sensano. And today I will give a short presentation on our Galaxy instance. Our Galaxy instance is available at galaxy.sensano.be. It is free to use, but you need to register an account to use it. The instance is focused on microbial genomics, for which we offer a set of tools from the toolshed, as well as tools that we have implemented ourselves. We offer an extensive framework for microbial genomics, enabling analysis such as QC, gene detection, sequence typing, SNP calling, phylogenies, and so on. Um, as an example, I represent the analysis of six mycobacterium tuberculosis isolates collected in 2019 in Belgium. In True Galaxy, I investigate how these samples are related to each other and also check their AMR profiles using the workflow schematically represented below. Uh, evidently, this is just an example and uh, there are much more possibilities as each of these tools function as a building block. The first step in the workflow is quality control, for which we offer several tools, including some frequently used ones from the toolshed, such as uh, fast to see and Quast. Uh, but we also offer a set of custom wrappers around tools such as Confinder and CheckM, offering a complete QC toolbox. Uh, secondly, we will perform regular MST typing with our custom MST tool. It performs allele detection using KMA, but we also offer the same functionality uh, with BLAST-based and SRST2 based detection. Currently, we offer 46 MST slash CGMST schemes, but novel schemes are added upon request. All of these databases are updated automatically every weekend. The output of the tool is provided as an interactive HTML report, which can be viewed from within Galaxy. Uh, the report contains various sections, starting with the analysis info at the top. The second section contains FASQC reports and statistics for the retrimming, which can be enabled or disabled in the tool interface. Uh, the third section contains the output of the typing itself, in this case the sequence type and the corresponding allele calls. At the bottom of the report, there is a section containing the commands that were used to obtain the results. In this case, these are the commands for Tumomedic and KMA. As all six islets were classified as sequence type 215, I repeated the analysis with the core genome MLST scheme from PubMLST, containing 744 loci, um, and the resulting output was used as input for our MLST tree tool. Uh, this tool takes MLST output files for several samples and generates the corresponding phylogenetic tree in various formats. And as you can see in this network representation, three of the six samples also have identical CGMST profiles. Uh, therefore, I start another analysis with the SNP phylogeny tool. This is also a custom tool uh, that takes FASCO inputs and a reference genome to perform a complete SNP-based phylogenetic analysis. The tool starts by SNP calling and filtering using either SAMTools or CFSAM, and the resulting SNP matrix is used as input for automatic model selection and tree building with MEGA. Uh, the output of this tool is also provided as an interactive HTML report. The top of the report contains the output of the retrimming, which can be browsed interactively. Uh, then we have a table with some statistics, such as the sequencing depth, the mapping rates, and the number of SNPs. Uh, which can also be downloaded separately in TSV format. Then we have a section with the SNP matrix, the VCF files, and also the results of the model selection. Uh, then lastly, we have the resulting phylogenetic tree in NUIC format, and this is also represented as a cladogram with boosted values in the output report. I have also put a regular representation of the tree on the right side. As you can see, the tree samples with identical CGMST profiles uh, two of them were clonal, and one has a slightly different SNP profile. At the bottom of the report, you can again see the commands that were used to obtain the results. Uh, then as the last step in the workflow, uh, we check the AMR profiles of the samples. In this case, we used a local installation of the Point Finder tool in Galaxy. Um, and as you can see in this example output report, in one of the samples, we find a mutation in the CATG gene. Uh, which is associated with resistance to isoniazid. If we then combine all the results of all the different steps, 
we obtain this uh, final phylogenetic tree along with the sequence types and the resistance profile for all of the six samples. If we then combine the results of all of the different steps, we obtain this final phylogenetic tree with bootstrap values, the sequence type, and the AMR resistance profile. Alternatively, we also have uh, several pipelines that could perform a complete ISA characterization, such as the one that I illustrated here from Mycobacterium. This is a full overview of all the pipelines that we offer. Some of them are already validated or will be validated soon. Uh, these validations are also described in peer-reviewed publications. And then we also offer a set of uh, tutorials on how to use Galaxy and also for specific tools or pipelines. Then to finish my presentation, I want to acknowledge my colleagues from the BioIT team in Cienzano who work really hard to keep our Galaxy instance up to date and running.